Hello and welcome back. Today me and Stasha will show you how to create this beautiful holiday look. I know we are in October now, but I miss the summer so much and we recorded this look earlier this year, so I wanted to share it with you as soon as I could. As usual, I will add all of the products in the link below. Let's begin. I have prepared Stasha's skin off camera and I am moving on straight to the eyes. As it is a holiday look, we need to prepare a very good base for the eyeshadows. So I chose NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Teramisu, which will be a perfect base for the further eyeshadows. Now the eyeshadow look will be pretty simple, as the most of the look will be concentrated around the lashes and the eyeliner. I generously applied the concealer all over the eyelid and also on the bottom lid. And now I need to set it with the powder. So for this, I chose Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow palette in the color Pillow talk and I'm lightly dusting the pinkish shade all over the eyelid. This will help me to set the concealer in place and make the eyeshadow very long wearing and also sweat proof. And this is it for the eyeshadow, nice and easy. Now I need to line the lash line and for this I'm using Ilamasca's lip pencil in the color Revealed which is a beautiful browny shade. I'm concentrating this liner near the lashes and once I applied it all over I then take a small bullet brush from brand My Kitco and I'm smudging and also winging the liner out. The key here is to take a very small bullet brush as we want the color to be concentrated only close to the lashes and nowhere else. Good thing about this liner is that it sets pretty quickly but you do have enough time to wing it out and smudge the color. Now when I'm applying the liner with the pencils, no matter how long wearing they are, I still like to set them with the powders. And instead of duping the brown shade, I chose these two purple colors from Lisa Eldridge Myth palette as I wanted to spice up the overall look a little bit more and also Stasha's eyes are of hazel color. So adding a little bit of the purple shading near the eyes will pull the green out of the eyes even more. And I'm also going over with the Inglot 77 gel liner in the lash line just to darken that area a tad further. Okay, I'm gonna leave the eyes be for now and I'm, I'm moving over to the complexion. So today I decided to use Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter all over the face. Normally I'm a little bit more targeted with its application. Usually I like to have a full control over where the face is glowing, but today I decided to do it all over. And for the foundation I am using Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation. This is a stable foundation in my kit as it suits so many different skin types. It's gorgeous, gorgeous glowing formula. However, on some people it glows more than others. And as it's not a first time, I'm working with Stasha, so I knew that this formula is going to agree with her skin perfectly. I'm applying the foundation with the same brush that I used for the flawless filter and once it's applied I'm then dabbing it with a wet beauty blender. You guys know if you watch my videos this is the technique I'm using all the time as I find this is the closest to the skin texture that I can get when I'm working in such manner. Also note, when I'm applying the color near the hairline, I'm not taking the color all the way up, but rather smudging it with a beauty blender for that seamless finish and for the hair not to get covered in the foundation. Today I'm trialing my new product from Fenty Beauty, the body sauce in the shade Pearl Swirl and I'm going to mix this color together with the Nivea body cream as I find that the color from Fenty on its own is a little bit too pigmented for my liking and I like the body to be a little bit more glowing and more sheer in coverage. Now that my canvas are completed, I need to go back and add a little bit more shadowing onto the facial contours and for this I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Fair and I'm lightly dabbing it with the brush all over the cheekbones and all of the contours of the face. I absolutely adore this product from Charlotte Tilbury, however I find that the easiest way to apply it is not straight from the tub but rather from the back of my hand as I have more control of where it's applied and how it's dispersed. Now I'm going to use Laura Mercier's Flawless Fusion Concealer in the shade 1.5C just to brighten the under eye area. I love this concealer. It's very lightweight and yet very pigmented in its consistency. Now I'm going to warm up Stasha's complexion by using Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Matte Peach Blusher. 
I like this blusher, however, I never use it from the top as I feel like this dispersing cushion is just a little bit too aggressive and too much color comes out straight off. I need to set all of my creams and I'm going to work in two stages here. First, I'm lightly going to dust all over the face this Fluorescence breathable powder, which is super light in consistency. It's almost invisible on the skin. And once the Fluorescence stage is done, I then go over with Charlotte Tilbury's brightening powder and only concentrate this in the middle parts of the face, the parts that I want to pop and be brighter. And I always find that once you've powdered the whole complexion, the blusher almost kind of disappears. So for this reason, I am duplicating the blush by using Charlotte Tilbury's Climax Blusher, which is a duo blush. The outer part of it is a bronzer and in the middle there is a pop of warm pink color, which I love so much. And I'm dusting this not only on the apples of the cheeks, but also on the eyelids to tie the whole look together. And to finish off the look, I'm going to use the Pillow Talk Wand from Charlotte Tilbury, which I am again applying by using Beauty Blender, as I want the product application to be deliberate and only be dispersed on the highest points of the cheeks and a little bit on the bridge of the nose. I have popped some individual lashes and coating them in Diego Della Palma, my happy toy mascara. I love this mascara as it's really thick in consistency and it creates a really nice and full eyelash finish. And I'm coating the brows with Got To Be Brow Gel, which is my favorite. I think I'm now on my tube number six. I use it often and I love it for my clients and my models. I wanted the brows to be naturally full, nothing overly done. So for this, I'm using NYX Brow Tint Pen in the shade Blonde, which is a beautiful light shade. And by lightly creating some strokes, I'm adding some definition and fullness to the brows. Once the brows were completed, I felt like the look was missing something and I decided to add a few beauty marks here and there. Um, Stasha naturally had some beauty marks, so I just decided to emphasize on them and I feel like it added to the look. The main focus for this look was bushy lashes and a beautifully defined eye, so lips needed to be more muted. That's why I decided to use the liner from the brand Limbos in the shade Nudish and I also topped it up with a lipstick in the shade Jojo. That is also a first lipstick to have SPF 50. And to finish everything, I'm spraying Suit Me Up Hydrating Spray from the brand Limbos and here is my final look completed. When we recorded that video, my orchid flower was blossoming and I decided to add a one flower to the side of Stasha's hair to complete this beautiful holiday look. By the way, guys, if you want to see another look that I created with Stasha earlier this year, I will add the link above, so do check it out. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also comment underneath. All of this helps me to create more beautiful videos for you.